Just got back in, changed my clothes to get comfortable. This weather is so screwed up. It was um hot last week, and it's cooled down this week. I went outside this morning. It was freezing. I couldn't believe it. Right now, the trees are blowing. Um, Yesterday, I had to go to the doctor. Yeah, the cardiologist, and they hooked me up to this thing here, this... um. You can't see it. It's a halter. I'm wearing a halter. I have to wear it for two weeks. So annoying. With the carrying around this little pack. I have to, um, let's see. Change the battery every night. In order to take a shower, I disconnect it. I have new leads. And, um, yeah, for two weeks. I uh, saw my two pink chairs. If you saw my previous video, you would see them in the living room. I decided I put them on, what was it, uh, Facebook Marketplace on Saturday and sold them on Sunday, believe it or not, to a young lady in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. So I shipped them off on Monday morning, UPS. And then I ended up getting my new replacement chairs. Because I was just tired. I was over the pink chairs. I am going to twist my hair up. It's been like this a couple of days. And I have been wearing, for the last several months, I've been wearing my hair flat ironed. And the other day I decided to wash it. Now you can see, I got a lot of gray new growth in there, all in my roots. I don't know if you can see back there, but it looks so weird. However, I'm not doing anything for the next few days and I don't want to be you know, running around with this. Plus, I don't feel like washing it again too soon. So I'm just going to section it off and twist it up. Normally, I start back here and work my way up. So I'm just going to section this part. Look at all that. And that. All right. I'm going to start here. So yeah, anyway, I sold the two chairs because I wanted, I was turning to pink. I wanted uh, some cream color accent chairs in my living room, but I wasn't going to do that until I sold those chairs. I have enough stuff around here I'm trying to get rid of. Anyway, I went out to Target the other day and I saw one chair there. They only had one in stock. And I sat in it, and it was so comfortable. It's the Project 62 Tuffled chair, I believe. It was the right color. It was comfy. The wood is a little bit lighter for more of a whitewash, but I can fix that in one of my little DIY hacks. However, I got the one chair, and normally I have two. And it was cute and everything. Then I thought, well, I'll just keep the one chair. Spraying just a little water and some, uh, this the Cantu Comeback. The thing is, I prefer my uh, wash and go than, than a twist out. I like my hair better with the wash and go. But I'm just going to go ahead and twist it up anyway. Anyway, as I was saying, I sat in a the chair. They only had one. Brought it home. I wanted to get a poof. I went online looking for a little poof ottomans. They're ridiculous. What they're asking for those things. And I thought about making one, but I figured by the time I get the materials and the stuff to go in it, which you could actually put some old clothes or something there if you wanted to, just to fill it up. I figured I might as well just buy one. So... I, unfortunately, the chair, they don't deliver it. You have to pick it up at the store. Now, my local store, like I said, only had one. And the next store, the next, about 16 miles away from me, the next door had, had three in stock. So I placed my order to be picked up. And I had to get in the car and go out there and get it. So now I have two. 
But I'm gonna tell you, I'm tired now from that little trip. I only went 16 miles, but I'm still tired. That's further than I've driven in a long time. <laughs> Ouch! So I hate doing this to my hair, you know, wearing the wash and go. <clears throat> As I had mentioned, I was done with this, but it had gotten so hot here for a minute, then now it's cold again. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna twist this out because the next time I do my hair, it'll be touching up my gray. So, anyway, I'm gonna start going through some of my things. I have a lot of clothes and shoes and stuff that I'm not wearing anymore. Somebody could use it. So I'm going to put it on Parsmark. I've taken some pictures previously, but just chickened out on posting it. But that's going to change now. Because I will be posting it. I find that I don't need a whole lot of stuff anymore. You know, I'm older. I moved into a smaller home. Which even though it's smaller, it still seems a lot, a lot of work. It still seems big to me. Anyway. I uh, decided I just want to declutter, and I've donated so much stuff, but some of these pieces that I have, I can't donate that. I have to try to make some money back on it. So that's why I'm going to put it up. I have some designer items. Well, my bags I'm not selling, but I do have a lot of purses and stuff I don't carry anymore, uh, coats and certain things like that. I will probably get rid of but and some shoes and stuff but yeah I'll let that stuff go ouch I don't know where I got this comb from but it kind of gets in there in the waves and helps especially for this type of hairstyle Now, I could wet this up, but like I said, I don't want to wet it too much. Just enough for me to get <clears throat> the comb and my fingers through it. I do have some of this melanin elongating cream for twist outs. Maybe I should use that instead. Save the other stuff for my wash and go. Yep, so what I'm going to do later on, well, in this summer, or maybe on the weekend, I don't know. I know how I am. When I get something in my head, I have to follow it through. The chairs are, like I said, a whitewashed um, wood. And what I want to do is just sand a little light glaze off of it, and then I want to go back over it with a like a golden oak stain to give it a more darkened finish. And the good thing about those chairs, I can unscrew the cushions off of it and put it back together. Because I do know how to uh, reupholster cushions and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll probably do that maybe on the weekend. But if I do, I'll be sure to uh, show you the process. Show the process. Anyway, I got two twisties here. I'm going to go ahead and finish a little bit. Let's see, I'm going to pour it here. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. This weather is so strange. I ended up in a hospital earlier part of March with a lung infection. And I'm so hesitant about getting my hair wet too much and running around with a wet scalp. That's why I kept a kept it flat iron press straightened out, I should say. 
And um, I'm trying to run the water through my, well, run the water in the hair and then use my fingers to try to loosen up these curls. Because I was just going to go down, 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 all the way around. Usually I separate, you know, like that, but I'm not going through all that. It's just to put in a little temporary, ah, protective style. See that? It's all kinked up in there in the roots. <sighs> okay, I know I should start down here. I have this detangling brush. Let's try it. Okay. Oops, a little more water on the ends. So I can get this comb through here. This brush through there. I hate this, you know. I really hate this. Now this um melanin, I try to rub it till it kind of disappears in my hand to almost clear before I rub it into my hair. But because my hand is wet, it doesn't look like it's trying to. So I'm going to rub it over on this side, let it sit there till I'm ready for this side. And I've been using coconut oil. Now look how it's mussified. And even when it was hot, it didn't melt, which is so weird. Anyway. Because I like to melt the coconut oil. I put it in one of these little applicator bottles and then I squeeze it into my scalp. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the microwave to melt it down and then let it get into my scalp and put a scarf around my head and uh, rest and lay down, relax and watch some TV. I don't feel like doing much of anything else today. I was up early. I went to the little city out of my area. And now I'm just tired. I cleaned my kitchen. I straightened up the living room. And I just want to relax, catch up on my TV shows. Because I record a lot of stuff. And I watch so much YouTube uh, behind on my television programs. <sighs> See, do I have to intend to do tomorrow? I think tomorrow I'll start um, going through and uploading some items on Poshmark. Oh, gosh. This is a jungle right here. I have to try and part with my fingers to get. This is so thick, I have to separate that just so I can get this stuff through through these tangles. Get the comb through. So I definitely have to split this into two sections. Ow! <laughs> oh, when did I get so tender headed? See, I have to wet this just to get this comb through. I'm trying a little bit of everything. Some little comeback curls, give it a little slip.
Actually, you know what? I need some leave-in conditioner. That'll get through it. I just got too much going on here. Let me use. I'll just use this because it's sitting right here. care because I'm going to be washing it soon anyway. So I'll just pile up all these different products on here. Oh my God. to put a lot of water in this area here because I do mean it gets tangled back in here and this is why I do not really care for wearing my hair like this but I'm sick of the ponytail uh, flat iron is twists I mean it sweats so bad from the heat but this right here is a pain in my ass too okay untangle the other piece and I'm going to put it as one piece. But I had to split it up in order to get through it. Let's see. to this final piece and I'm just gonna leave it twisted up until uh, Friday and then again I might just throw a hat or a scarf on top of this and go on about my business anyway don't forget to uh, thumbs up subscribe to my channel um, as I said once before I did a video I said I wasn't gonna do any more videos on curly p dub channel and I'm going to start loading everything over on P-Dub stuff. But every now and then I'll come back over here. You know. Because I have a few subscribers here. And I don't want to lose you all. So I appreciate but you go on over to the P-Dub stuff channel. And support me over there too. Okay, I am done. This is it. My protective style for the next few days. All right, peace.